Hello and welcome back to thedrinker.co.uk. I'm Pete Turner and in this series of films I'm looking at wines that I'm recommending from all the major retailers in the UK in the summer going into the autumn of 2022. So we'll be looking for barbecue wines and party wines, um, wines that will really sort of interest you and, and keep you going. We know at the moment, well obviously we've got a cost of living crisis going on so none of the, the wines in any of the films that I've made will cost more than £10 and even then I've tried to find wines at the more affordable end of that scale. Um, while still retaining you know, good, interesting and good quality. Um, luckily, in this film, we're looking at the wines I'm recommending from Aldi, and they do a, such a brilliant job in buying wines that are interesting and are really in that affordable uh, price bracket. Um, particularly also in their specially selected range. So five of these wines are from their specially selected range. Um, we're going to start off with the one that isn't in their specially selected range. This is Estevez Pinot Noir. It's Chilean, it's from the Central Valley in Chile, and it costs $3.99, $3.99, get that. That's an amazing price for Pinot Noir. Um, lovely looking wine, quite pale, and on the nose, yeah, it's got some lovely sort of uh, plum uh, elements to it. And raspberry, a little bit, a little bit, a bit hint of raspberry. Yeah, and that really, yeah, that raspberry becomes strawberry on the palate. There's some some quite nice um, tannins to it. Gives it good structure, and there's also a lovely sort of element of wood smoke about it, which kind of makes it quite versatile and and probably a good candidate for barbecues. Really would work well with with grilled meat and and you know sat, sat sipping on a on a patio. Lovely wine at three ninety nine. Great party wine. Okie dokie. Next up. Again, from this, the, these are all now from their specially selected range. This is Castellori Valpolicello Ripasso. Ripasso means it's been made with some partially dried grapes. Um, and uh, this is obviously from Italy. It's seven ninety nine a bottle. It's 13.5% in alcohol. The first one was 13% in alcohol. So it's quite pale. But it's uh, enormous on the nose. It's big and opulent and vanillary and woody. Um, some lovely cedar about it. Whilst all, also carrying through some sort of a black currant. Yeah, black currant, I think it is. And there's a lovely element of charcoal smoke about it. So again, another real good uh, candidate for barbecues. Mm. Wow, it's big and expressive. Slightly sweet in a good way, but really well balanced. The alcohol's high, the, the fruit element's high, the tannin is there, but it's really well integrated. Seven ninety nine. that is a lot of wine for the money. Super, super buy, that is. Okay, so again, this is another one from their Castellori range. This is, what is it? It's a, a Sangiovese. So it's from Tuscany, Sangiovese. Uh, um, Sangiovese known as one of the key grapes in Chianti, uh, but this is a white wine, six ninety nine from down there in Tuscany, and it's a lovely uh, light lemon um, nose to it, like a sherbet lemon. Mmm. Yeah, and it's fresh and lemony. Citrus is really big here. Uh, lemony and um, a little hint of grapefruit, a little hint of lime peel. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a little hint of almond in there. Something also, also something sort of slightly minerally. At six nine uh, six ninety nine, that's a super super wine uh, for the for the price. So lovely Italian white, and again interesting because if you've got people who love Chianti and uh, into Sangiovese, there's there's a, there's a white version too. Okay, so next up we are off to McLaren Vale. This is in their Coolaburra range. It's specially selected. It's Marsan and Viognier. Uh, it is £7.49 a bottle. And, oh, oh, wow. And if that was uh, lemon sherbet, this is like pineapple chunk sweeties on the nose. It's, it's quite tropical. Uh, yeah, pineapple and mango. Mmm. Yeah, it's dry and fresh and refreshing and mouth-watering. But that mango, the pineapple, lychee, some citrus in there. What a beautiful wine. There's a lot to like about that. A lot, really quite complex wine. For £7.49, 
you could do a lot worse than that. Again, perfect patio wine, really interesting wine. Right, we're onto the rosé now. This is Baron Amarillo. Um, this is Rioja Rosado. So it's pink uh, rosé Rioja, if you like. So if you've got people who like Rioja, I bet they didn't know that there was there was pink Rioja available. And it's got that sort of, um, what I hope you can see, it, the, like the wire meshing. You used to get that quite a lot around bottles for, for Spanish uh, wines. I always mess, used to make me think, oh, that must be posh. Um, it's, it's, so they've got the, the wire stuff on it. So this is six forty, no, six ninety nine a bottle, um, and it's uh, so it's pink Rioja. Let's have a little snifter. Yeah, it's just lovely, uh, light, refreshing, um, red currant nose. It's not bossy at all. It's it's lovely. Hmm. And the red currant carries on in the palette. It's fresh and light and pretty. It sort of suggests it's off dry on on the label, but it it really isn't. Um, there's a tiny tiny hint of sweetness about it, but not so you'd notice. But that lovely red currant note to it carries all the way through. There's some lovely white pepper about it too. White pepper and spice. It's a beautiful wine for six ninety nine for a lovely uh, pink Rioja. Okay, so last of all, we have a lovely, again, from their Castellori range, specially selected Ribola Gialla. Ribola Gialla. All of these wines will be listed in the little box underneath the film. Um, so again, this is an Italian uh, wine. And it, I opened it some time ago, and it's still very lively in the glass. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's on the nose it's got... It's got a little bit of um, some balsa, balsa wood, workshops, like freshly sawn balsa wood. And, and there's some peach uh, and some almond about it on the, on the palate. It's refreshing and dry. Six, uh, 6.49 a bottle. Um, 6.49. That's a really great value. A lovely, interesting uh, fizz. So if you're bored with Prosecco, or not bothered about Carver, you want to go in a different direction, this Ribola Giala will really do you well. So there you go. That's my little pick from uh, Aldi this season. Um, give us a like, give us a follow, give us a share. Follow us on uh, Twitter at Drinkersite. Go to my website, click on the supermarket that you use, and you'll find all of my recommendations for all of their range at all of the different prices. And most of all, have great seasonal drinking. Cheers now.